So at this point, it's just extended stuff. We can go back now, but we've come too far. We gotta get the stuff for Pico. Wait, is this going back upstairs? How do I get behind? One false move. <laughs> oh, this is Desert Rush. Wait, is it the hidden boxes thing? Oh gosh, okay. Mr. Gus presents the one, the only, Desert Rush. For a limited time only. If you earn the high score, you'll get some rare greens. Step right up and give it a try. They are bombarding me with mini games here. Desert Rush. Haven't seen this one in a while though. I forgot. I forgot the trick to this. Dragon Claws. Oh, we need to get the best one because we need to get that for Tifa. Okay. There's a trick to this, like using certain skills, bravers, focus thrusts. Yes. Free time right there. Wait, this one... Yes. Oh, do you have to, like, braver this, or...? Brace yourself. Oh no, it's electricity, right? Okay, I'll note it for next time, maybe. Holy dude! Why is this not working at all? Okay. Is this supposed to be static shock? Is it just weirdly broken? I don't know what's wrong with that thing. Guess I'll ignore for now. How much does this take? Do I need a skill? Okay, I have to use a skill, I think. Or do I? I'm so confused. At this rate, we're not getting anywhere. What? What's his arrow? Oh my god, I can't even walk down. Kidding me? What? Oh. Did I miss the tutorial on how to do this one? So long. Oh, the gearbox has to be activated like that. What does that mean? Oh, now? Oh, okay. This one needs a level number two. It's okay, it's my first try. I'll figure this out later, in depth. Sorry. I can't- oh, what a waste. Okay, where is the box? Where is the- See, I didn't want to work on this, because I was like... I should probably... Oh, it's here. It was right in front of me. Maybe focus the rust would be better here. So long. Oh, this is gonna be a challenge, isn't it? But we we sort of know the gist now. Where else? Oh, there's more here. Okay, don't be like that then. <laughs> Keep getting a few more seconds. I see. We gotta focus on the the electricity ones first. Took me a while, long while to figure that one out. Great job out there. Got some greens for you, as promised. But I want more. Yeah. Yeah. Ha! 
Cares about the fifty. Who cares about the fifty? I do. Oh, I gotta. I gotta do an aerial attack to get that one. Sorry. No. Brace yourself. Oh, the two hundreds. Those ones we should get. Oh, uh, I don't know which way I'm going actually. Please go down. You have to hit it before we go down. Oh, I think we go up here now. God. Oh, we gotta be careful about the boxes falling down. Although I don't really think. Oh well. Oh God. So long. Okay. Come on! Oh my god, I should have just used the braver on it. That was stupid. Sorry. Oh, there was a timer. Whatever. Ten seconds. That's good. Is that even- that gives 500, we gotta get it. Don't walk down. Sorry. Whoa, we got it, we got it. Oh yeah, we did it. Nice. Good bit to spare too. Yeah. Wow. You got some real talent there. If you find the correct path, the timing wasn't super tight. That one was okay-ish. Come back. If you want a challenge. Had to do it for Tifa, man. My girl. Actually, we probably could have just waited until it appeared in the shop, but hey, if you get it earlier, who's gonna pick to go later, right? Now, the seminar thing. Is it just around here? Solemn Gus. Oh, wow, we could go here. Don't even think. Damn it. Am I in the right place? Seems like there's some of those dodgy businessmen type again. They all have 
brightly dyed hair. Hey there, buddy. <laughs> Greetings, friends, and welcome to my swindling seminar. Today, for the very first Conniving. time, I'll be unveiling Caglio. the art behind the con, teaching you the tricks of my trade. Gone are the days of getting duped. Remove the wool over your eyes. And instead, join me in the fleecing. Let's get right to the heart of skillful <laughs> swindling. The key is to never tell the truth. This may sound easy to some, but do not be fooled. There is a depth to the art of deception. It is a skill you must hone. And what better way to learn than a little practical application? Now then, let us begin the exercise. <laughs> Ideally, I would ask a passerby to tell truth from falsehood. Greetings, friends, and welcome to my swindling seminar. Getting by in a Today, cruel for world. for the very first time, I'll be unveiling the art Hello. behind the con. You, sir, have excellent timing. Mm. I'm conducting a seminar and would appreciate your help. And, as thanks for your assistance, rest assured you will be handsomely rewarded. All you need to do is speak with my lovely pupils here. Four of these folks are lying while one and only one is telling the truth. Your job is to find the odd one out. Oh! Ah, there's also a small fee to participate, but I'm sure you won't mind. But this ends with me losing my money either way, right? That's your, the point of your whole seminar? Swindling Seminar. Conniving Caglio is holding a seminar instilling five aspiring swindlers with the tricks of his deceitful trade. Your mission is to discern which of his disciples is telling the truth. Each guest will cost 500 gil, no refund, so choose wisely. Investigate his pupils' potential lies by visiting notable locations around the Dust Bowl. Review your notes at any time, and you can also take a closer look. Okay. The raw specialty sunshine is like nothing you've ever tasted. Promise. Oh, we just tasted that, didn't we? Although I didn't really find was that a lie? You know, the bars around here serve drinks so watered down that you can go for hours on end and it's still not feel it. I'm gonna be drinking. You know, this rap by Vail Jumper Sunshine. I forgot what the drink was called. Specialty sunshine is like nothing you've ever tasted. The weapon store owner's got a few screws loose, if you ask me. I mean, what's he doing selling potions of all things? I don't remember if he sold potions. The weapon store owner's got a few screws. The weapon store okay. owner's got a few screws. I'm dying to read Gus's autobiography, Meditations on the Outlaw Life. But the bookstore still doesn't have it in stock. Meditations on Outlaw Life. You're giving me the locations, but I want I want you to remind me what they said. I'm dying to read Gus's autobiography. Okay. Gus's crib is covered in graffiti, like some kind of art museum. My personal favorite is this adorable Del Sol cactuar. That sounds real enough. Gus's crib is covered in graffiti. Like Have you tried the Beast Battleground yet? I hear that Type Zero monster's a real toughie. Wait, this one sounds real. Have you tried the Beast Battleground yet? I hear that Type Zero monster's a real toughie. If you ask me right now, I might pick that guy, but I guess we should customarily just try to go around <laughs> those places and see if they're, if we can tell if some of them are lying or not. One truth. Four liars, right? So we'll do something like visit the bookstore and see if that book is in stock or if the weapon seller has potions. If you're looking to get stronger, my store has everything you'll need. Magneta books. Well, you don't actually sell books, though. You just let me do my folio stuff. <laughs> That's it. Magic defense. Hmm. Ring. Aerith and red. Ringmaster. Attack power boost. I'd rather you guys do more of your own stuff, really. Okay. Because I don't know how often I'll get you guys all in the same party, right? Looks like that's it for now. Okay, maybe Yuffie? Max HP by 200? Can't be a bad thing. Yeah. 
What do you think of my store? Be honest. It's the best now, you've ever seen, right? Something like that. King. Word of warning. Don't make a peep. Do you sell potions? Silence is sacrosanct. You elixirs? Do elixirs count as potions? I mean, that is a potion, right? Um, not super clear, but. Take care of your weapons. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, the bar. Where was that bar again? I don't even remember. This place is kind of confusing. The layout. This is the notice board. Oh, here's the bar. Yeah, the bell jumper. This drink right here. What's it called again? It may be diluted, but it's got a refined taste. Oh. Oh, you're not gonna tell me again. What, really? You're hitting that stuff pretty hard. Good thing it ain't too strong. No, no, no. Can you say the name of the thing again? Because I do vaguely remember it was something like Sunshine, but I played that part yesterday. It may be so I can't remember. But it's got a refined taste. Okay. D do you want to talk? Got those greens you were after? Well, good. Guess my hands-off farming method works better than I thought. Hold on then, I might just go review my recording and see what he said before, because I honestly don't remember exactly. Hey, it was called Sunshine, and it was diluted, like he said. Maybe that guy is a truth teller. And I looked up the my enemy intel. The thing I fought was called Test Zero, not Type Zero. That's a lie. If I did it then, I would have gotten it wrong. Ha. Huh. Okay, well, Sunshine sounds like it's pretty certain to me already. Well, then the elixir must be wrong then because they specified potions that the weapon seller was selling potions, but an elixir... The name elixir is not potion, right? Like, that's the, the crucial difference here. Sup. Hey, man. Right, right, because there's an actual item called potion. Which they don't sell. See ya. Okay. Do we need to investigate further then, or... Can we just say that the truth teller is the the first person? Huh? We could try and guess. Kind of forgot what the fourth. Well, the type zero, the test zero guy is lying. The bookstore? I don't know what they mean by the bookstore though, because um the folio you can't really buy books there, right? But either way, I feel like we have heard enough. Let me just make sure again. You said you said type zero, right? Have you tried the beast battleground yet? I hear that type zero monsters are real toughy. Test zero, not type zero. You said sunshine. <laughs> you know, the bars around here serve drinks so watered. You know, I just wrap my veil jumpers sometimes. Yeah. They're out. The weapon store owner's got a few screws. He's not selling potions. Me. I'm dying to read Gus's autobiography. And I didn't check the, the... Gus's crib is covered in graffiti. I didn't check it, but because we have sunshine, I think I'm just gonna guess sunshine. Well, do you think you can figure out who's telling the truth? 500 gil. I'm dying to read Gus's autobiography. Med the what? You know, the bars are out here, serve drink. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Their deception was no match for your powers of perception. Beware, my aspiring swindlers. Clever ones like this are harder to fool. But so long as you continue to train and apply yourselves, I can teach you to swindle even the toughest marks. Yes, yes sir. sir. As for you, rest assured that I am a man of my word. Those greens are hard to find in a place like this. Quite the handsome reward, wouldn't you say? A vegetable. Well, it's a desert. Cloud seems to have no thoughts on helping out some swindlers with their training at all. <laughs> we haven't done a good thing here, man. <laughs> Thirsty, Usain. Hey, keep it moving. 
<laughs> Sloppy uh. Sean. Uh huh. I wonder what that graffiti <laughs> name was. Maybe there was a different graffiti on it. <laughs> Blowhard Georgie. All right, creeps. Hey there, buddy. I guess that's it with my there? time here because I've got all the vegetables. Back. How were you supposed to tell for the bookstore one though? I'm actually kind of curious. <laughs> this quest was a little bit interesting. Oh! Careful now. They gave me the locations. I should have been looking at that note paper, right? Yeah. And then for the... Since I did face off against Type Zero, Test Zero already, I didn't have to go back to the Colosseum place. But yeah, you were meant to go there and find out all around. Which is... Yeah, because by this point, by the time you get this seminar, you probably would have been to the other places already. Anyway. How come you all get to eat veggies? Here we go. Hey, nice find, Merc. Am I even gonna give this to my chocobo? I better. I worked hard for it. Thank you. Well, that's all I got. Now go and kick the tar out of those other jockeys. Okay. I think yeah, I'm good now. I'd say you're looking pretty good. So, you ready or what? You. Yeah. About time. Let's get this show on the road. Come with me. Actually, on second thought, I'll take him up top. That work for you? Say what? <laughs> Fine. You want to go roll in the hay with this idiot? Go wild. And on that note, follow me. Nice to be handsome. All the girls rushing to help it's you. It's hard to believe this is the same Pico that nearly died in the desert. You should have seen him that first day, the poor boy. More dirt than Chocobo. Couldn't so much as give us a quail without coughing up sand. He's a whole new bird now, though. Might even have what it takes to win. Question is, do you? Even the fastest Chocobos can't win Jack without the right jockey. I've seen my fair share of promising birds wasted on riders who didn't know their asses from a hole in the ground. Believe me, in the racing world, it's all about who's holding the reins. No pressure, though. Okay, on you go. No pressure, huh? It's a freight elevator. Uh, given my history, my history so far with controlling a chocobo, I have a very bad feeling about this race. <laughs> Competing in the race today? Yep. Oh, so that's how we we'll unlock this. Prepped for you. Just sit tight in the jockey lounge and no wandering off, okay? This so we're going back to the gold saucer. By the way, I remember Dio said we had one day for all this crap. Is it still the same day? I, I rested at an inn already. Okay, you- you go in there. I'll see you later, Pico. Pico, my man. The one and only. A bug boy? Hmm? <laughs> hey there, Joe. Why, Esther? You grow lovelier by the day. <laughs> uh-huh, sure I do. Oh, where are my manners? This here's Joe. He's one of Sam's jockeys. <laughs> and as much as it pains me to admit it, the man's far and away the best rider in the sport. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. This is Cloud. An up-and-coming star of the track. And all ours. Be sure to wave hi when he laps you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, sounds like you got a fan, son. I wonder, though. You win her over with your skills? Or with one of them smoldering looks. <laughs> Don't see why it can't be both. About time I had some competition. Assuming Esther's not full of it. For both our sakes, I hope she isn't. <sighs> Forget him. The race is starting soon, so stay focused. Speaking of, you might want to consider practicing. The sim here can help with that. Okay. Uh, it might be a one and done kind of thing again. Uh, you were like, no, no pressure, and then the next moment you start hyping me up to everybody. Thanks, man. This being your first race and all, you should probably do a few laps in the sim. Okay. 
Can I have some? Oh my gosh, food! Food for days! I will be Joe. I will be famous. I will be Joe. Cupcakes and stuff. Not very healthy choices. Aw, a bug boy. I'll go easy on ya. The hell is a bug boy? A beginner jockey? Well, try not to get trampled out there. This food seems a little bit unhealthy. I'm just brushing up on my bird calls before the race. Bark! Quack! Quack! <laughs> Your first race ever, and it's with Joe. Are you guys not coming with? It's just me and him? Hey, I'm trying to manifest a win here. Okay, sorry. Or we could team up, take Joe down a peg. Not gonna do a few laps for practice? I will. Not gonna do a few laps for practice? I will now. How's this sim work? If you want to brush up on your jockey skills, practice here. Even if you've never raced a day in your life, completing the sim's various tutorial objectives will ensure you're ready. Speed up X. That's all I gotta know. <laughs> and R2 for drifting. Press X right when the countdown reaches 2 to begin the race with an explosive star. Right when it hits 2? Okay. No pressure, right? Did I get it? Oh no. Go faster, my buddy! Speed up, speed up! Do I hold X? Or do I press X? The more of these blue balloons you collect, the faster your chocobo will run. Oh, it's Mario Kart. And then we don't want to run into other people. Okay. I don't think I got that explosive star thing. Might want to practice that part. Ability balloons. Collect the red balloons will fill your ability gauge once active, R1. Speed burst. Dash balloons. Yellow dash balloons add a charge to your dash gauge. If you have one, you can do R1 for a short burst. You use them often because you don't get many of them. Oh, I, don't, I can't be out of the track like this. Buddy, you gotta go. Uh... What was that one again? Getting a speed? That's a speed thing? Speed first. How's that different from dash? This is more continuous and controlled. And I can stop it whenever I want? Looks like it. If I finish a lap under 30 seconds, I can get a some gold saucer points. Okay, I need to learn how to drift. Didn't get it under 30 seconds today. Let's go! But I don't think we want to... So this is just kind of making me go off course. Let me get the 30 second lap. We're still in the 32 second range. It's not the greatest. Alright. Okay, for drifting I have to stop holding the... Speed, speed up at the same time, I see. So, something I'm learning here is that it looks like I can just cut through. Yeah, that counts. I didn't have, even have to follow the track. That's okay. Enter the Chocobo Cup. Now that you've completed the tutorial and learned the ropes, you can now race. Okay. I think I get the hang of drifting, but the key seems to be cutting corners. Because why, why follow if we don't have to? Alright. You ready to make your debut in the racing world? No, I'm not really looking forward Our to next it. Race will begin shortly. All participating jockeys, please proceed to the paddock. You good to go? Oh, we have to finish in first. Did you see? Good luck to me then.
Chocobo attributes. Each bird is unique, but they all possess the following attributes. Speed, acceleration, weight, cornering, strength, and intelligence. Depending on the distribution of these attributes, a bird can be faster or easier to handle. Speed and acceleration obviously make chocobos run faster. More weight will make them fly shorter distances, but will also be harder to knock around. Cornering helps chocobos turn better. Strength keeps them from slipping around. And intelligence affects the potency of their chocobo ability. A chocobo can wear gear on three different parts of their body. Each gear augments the attributes. The gear comes with unique abilities too. You can save up to four sets of gear. Three racing sets and one world set. Okay. Oh, I should have been buying everything then, huh? I didn't buy the Shinra stuff. Shoot. Slightly increased speed for a few seconds after being passed. Oh, that could be good. Dramatically increases <laughs> all attributes if placed seventh or lower heading into the final lap. Increases acceleration. I'll do mimicry. Oh, wait, wait. Mimicry? Randomly replace your current ability? No, no, no. Determination. Oh, I didn't figure out the, the chance of dashing out of the gate thing. The explosive start. We'll see. Increase number of dash charges by one. Gain a dash charge upon entering the final lap. Lessen how much you... Hmm. Increases speed proportionate to distance from the first place chocobo during the last lap. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be up in front, you know? But this could be interesting. But the- I, I want a dash. Start races with one dash already available. But the thing about Mario Kart is that the earlier you are in front as like a number one, then people are gonna start sending banana peels and whatever, right? So... <laughs> I don't know if we want to be number one the whole time. Increases effective dash panels. Intelligence. This is- I'm relying on dashing a lot here. We good? Pico is intelligent. Okay, I have to press X when the timer hits 2. Do I hold X, press X? I don't know. I'll press it once and then hold. Ah, Chocobo Cup! My chocobo doesn't match. Oh, mine's so cute, though. I love the hat. The sun visor. Hmm. Here's a secret. I survived that recent shooting. Oh. You're not talking about the Coliseum, are you? Yes, I was there. Or I would have been had I not gone to the bathroom just before. That's amazing. <gasps> You're so lucky. Aren't I just? <laughs> Which is why I know my bird's a winner. <laughs> Ooh, what a scrumptious looking parfait. And with plenty of butterscotch, I see. Bottoms up. Ooh. Are they not going to see Cloud on TV? <laughs> oh, that looks kind of good. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, eyes on him. <laughs> oh, I'm fine. Thanks. Do you know how hot it is out here? I'm melting. Ugh. God. What asshole decided our uniforms had to be black? <laughs> and long sleeve. I'll be there as soon as I can. You freaking better. And bring something cold to drink. Or better yet, ice cream. Is vanilla no, okay? No, vanilla. Seriously? I'm getting heat stroke over here! I'm gonna die! You want that? Do ya? Aren't you on probation? <laughs> <sighs> Wish you were here, partner. <laughs> Damn, and that's how Cloud escapes notice yet again. I think we got that explosive start. Checking out the track here before I do too much. Oh, how did I miss that? Are you serious? That's insane. I can't believe this. Oh 
I got two. Ain't bad. Oh, everyone's faster than me, though. <gasps> what is happening? Blue fruit is the base speed. Which is... Ah, wow, wow, what? Wow, all of you! Oh, we're not gonna get first place at this rate. Oh, maybe I should have picked one of those things about, like, you know, getting something extra at the last bit or whatnot. Oh, I lose my speed if I hit the other chocobos or something. So should I be hitting the other cho- Wait, I can just... Just go here. Cut the corners wherever we can. Two! I got two there! Screw you. I don't really see a reason to save up my stuff because we still have to make up the differences. Whatever we don't end up... Like, whatever distance we are away from the first. Still have to make it all up. What am I right now? I'm number four, my god. Here's my cheat. My plan to cheat. Shoot. The grass is a little bit slower, so that's why you don't wanna... You might not wanna do it. Oh my goodness. We have to do this again if we lose, okay? Oh, come on! Oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god. Go! Oh, I don't get the money though. Oh! <laughs> you guys are outside too! <laughs> well, I did my end of the deal. Let him go, okay? I knew I backed a winner. You're the real deal, kiddo. I just provided the encouragement. And thanks to you, my prison's gonna be a goddamn palace. Good for you. Ooh, so frosty. But here in the desert, we like it hot, fiery, dangerous. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. Now where's our guy? <laughs> Easy, Snowflake. Solemn Gus is a man of his word. Are you scared I'll break my promise? That tunnel over there will take you where you need to go. Past all that quicksand like a slippery little sidewinder. And at the other end, one of my beautiful vultures will be waiting to guide you through the desert. So be a good tourist. We got old Shooty McShooterson tied up nice and tight in a shack out in the scrapyard. But which one? But now he's all yours. Turn him over. Give him his just desserts. It's your call to make. I kind of this sounds like not Barrett because... Yeah, you were supposed to be really good with your information, right? You should know which one it is. Thanks to you, we made a killing out there! Woo! Do I get any of it? At all? Hey, shouldn't you be somewhere doing something? Maybe. Thanks to you, we made a- How much did you make though? 600k? 700k? 100k? I suppose you're in the market for a charming young racing consultant. I don't think I need you if I won first place in my first race. Don't suppose you're in the market for a charming young racing consultant. That was pretty close consultant. though, we nearly didn't get it. 
Oh, yeah, there was something about graffitis in the other place. All right, are we... We're basically good with this place for now then, right? Yeah, I suppose so. We'll get back to Snaps in due time. Now we get back out into the open world? 